Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, the Wolf of Crypto here. We on another episode of the Crypto Millionaire Journey, and y'all, journey has, again, so much, so much things are going on in the crypto space. I know we had the Bitcoin halving. Maybe it didn't play out the way some were thinking. I still think that we probably won't see some real movement to about maybe June, July. Maybe that's when the run will start to hit probably closer to like, I would say like 10, 11K, maybe that, around that range. But um, even still, with it going back and forth from what high nines, the low nines. Still quite able to make some solid gains and some solid profit. Um, but I gotta say, I have discovered some new crypto projects that have got me really, really interested in uh, expanding my trading game as well. Finding some other exchanges to trade on. Um, I got one right now that's a pretty heavy hitter for me right now and it's one of my biggest trading accounts and it's it's lovely man it's uh it's a different trading space that i haven't quite used before but uh got introduced to it and ever since then it's just like i'm trying to get as much as possible in that account to fall into these other accounts because again when you learn how to do one thing, you just want to replicate it. And that's something that I'm really, really trying to get done. Like, I'm trying to trade across as many platforms as I can because some of these gains, man, some of these coins, I mean, it's just, it's it's easy profits. Easy profits, easy gains. So why not? do it across multiple platforms of course yes that means you're gonna need a whole lot a whole lot of money yeah but um building building the account getting it to where it needs to be and then going from there is just gonna be really really rewarding and um also too man big decision uh <laughs> Looks like your boy is about to be uh, moving to Vegas. Yeah, I'm leaving Cali. Yeah, that's going to be happening. And it's kind of funny because it's actually happening through Bitcoin. You know, me investing in crypto. The whole tra transition of living off crypto. And I got to say, it's, it's quite a transition that I'm really enjoying. Um... I really feel like my money's actually working for me. Uh, I'm using the Monaco card, the MCO card, and that card, man, that is, uh, I love it, man. It's it's everything I wanted. Again, that was a, talk about a long waiting period. It was a long time to just receive it. I had already knew about it, but to receive it start to be able to use it and um what's even more nice about it is i don't always necessarily have to use my crypto to add to my card to be able to use it um i have the option to use stable coins and stable coins is something i'm really starting to integrate to my portfolio and then just using them to my advantage as if there was I'm treating it as, as it's fiat um so you know I have something that's constantly stable although 
volatility of you know having money in crypto so found some utility for stable coins and uh really the bank account that i have is really just for uh you know the standard purposes of just you know having just one just for you know because not crypto is not mainstream quite yet so but i do have ways of being able to use crypto in a way if if it was its own bank account if that makes sense um so that's again that's why i like having these crypto bitcoin debit cards and the mco card again it's part of apple pay so that just that was kind of like the icing on top of the cake being able to add that feature to apple pay and being able to use it always getting cash back on it every purchase to the point now i'm really looking at investing and going ahead and upgrading to the jade green well, I, where I was received 2% cash back and eventually trying to get to that next level where you get like Spotify, Netflix, Rebate, um, some other things like the airport lounge. Because, um, man, through that thing, it's, I've said I've what, earned about 100 bucks or so, maybe, maybe more since uh using it and i'm really like i said really trying to use that compared to like using my you know bank card um that is a card that is you know now attached to most of the things that i pay for use every for everyday purchases and i gotta say man ah It's going to be interesting to see how the year ends using that card consistently. Because, again, like I said, the cashback, you got to remember, the cashback that you're receiving, it's, it's MCO. So, as that price goes up, cashback goes up, man. And I think being able to earn 2%, it's going to be it's going to be nice. I'm going to have to extra ugh, on top of trying to get to that next level card where I think you earn like, I think 3% or something like that. And then, man, these crypto projects that I've discovered, again, found a couple of new Bitcoin debit cards that might be potentially coming out. Um, and of course, like being able to use crypto to potentially buy, buy a house, man, that's, that's going to be a big, big accomplishment for me personally, and a big step for just the crypto space of, you know, having the ability and knowledge to actually really use Bitcoin to, in your favor to, you know, as a down payment. Because <laughs> best believe, I'm pretty sure the time comes, Bitcoin's price is going to be a little bit higher. So I'll be able to take some of that profit, use it towards buying my own spot, using crypto. Like I said, man, living off crypto that is the goal transitioning into crypto money's constantly working i mean even in the last what couple days market's been very stagnant we've been going back bouncing back and forth has been a huge movement a lot of us a lot of people were thinking speculations oh as soon as halving would happen we would automatically start this bull run. No, it's not happening. But I think personally right now it's giving me the opportunity to just collect more obviously Bitcoin 
but other coins as well like chain link man chain link has been that's another project that i'm trying to you know dip some funds into chain link has been doing pretty well the last couple of months <laughs> i mean that that overall return right now is ridiculous i think it's like over year to date might be something like 200 percent no it's 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 high um even like digibyte found myself playing in that <laughs> that coin is whew, like i think i capped out at like 40 percent on that coin and i'm just thinking to myself like wow because that was a coin that i've always been kind of just keeping my eye on because of where the price is and where it could potentially go and then just the fact that some of these gains man i mean i had bought did you buy what was it maybe what's today saturday i think i bought it around on thursday or friday and uh talk about quick gains i mean he had shot up and i'm just like whoa but it's just like man it's a nice feeling knowing that hey don't always gotta rely on my job income and it's a nice feeling that i can go to bed knowing that you know what i'm gonna wake up tomorrow probably with a little bit more money in my account because i gotta say y'all i can i have the ability to say i am making money every day yeah i'm making money every day every day i'm just getting a little bit richer a little bit richer a little bit more towards that financial freedom goal because again, I mean, when you're able to trade 24 7, no restrictions, and yeah, you yeah. got, I mean, even if you don't even know how to read charts to a certain extent, like, like how all these, you know, some of these professional top traders might be doing, man, if you're just buying dips and selling hides the profits there man the money the money's there for you if you want them i mean if you want it excuse me um yeah so definitely gonna be trying to find a different way to I guess integrate and showcase how you know living off crypto. Obviously, we do this whole COVID nineteen. Yet this COVID nineteen thing is just—it's really killing off the world and way of life. And it's making me not even want to go outside anymore. It's kind of sad, but uh, it's kind of interesting to see that during these crazy times the economy of crypto it hasn't really tanked off or fell off like the regular economy that you see that's just struggling as more people go file for employment but i hope people are taking note man like yeah, I know a lot of people were like, whoa, we want Bitcoin to be at this price. Even if it's not that price, man, you, you still got opportunities to, to get some gains off it, man. There's just, Ethereum still got its chance to go back to its good old days, but, you know, they still need F2.0 to drop. But I'm trying to tell people, man, if you're not paying attention not doing your homework yeah it's 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 gonna be tough for you it's gonna be tough for you also too uh if any of my youtubers my youtube subs are checking out the podcast listening i appreciate you guys uh with the engagement um definitely continue to reach out on telegram um you can join my discord as well uh you know, people are curious. If you guys are having questions, um, you know, my telegram is at the Wolf of Crypto. 
Um, feel free to reach out. Got any questions, especially when it comes to uh, cryptocurrency, setting up certain things for your exchanges or just getting started on exchanges, trading. Because um, I do, you know, try to help out, try to guide to the best of my ability. Again, of course, you know, I'm not a financial advisor. You know, investing is a risk. So always be willing to risk what you're willing to lose. Um, but definitely got some projects and <laughs> subjects that I definitely want to talk about in the future on some upcoming episodes. Um, hopefully now that I might have a little bit more free time, some time to pump out some episodes because, man, I got some projects for y'all and some ways of, if you really want to learn some crypto, mm, I'm telling you, do it right now, man, do it right now, especially because I think by the time the year ends, where Bitcoin's price could potentially end up at, uh, I wouldn't want to miss out on that. Just for the fact that you know, hey, what if it, what if it does end at fifty k? What if, what if that's a possibility? What if that happens? It is a possibility. We just gotta wait and see. But again, crypto is not for everybody. Um. Some see it as uh, in ways where I just can't really fathom how you can get to that conclusion. But hey, to each its own. Everybody has their opinion. Um, but before I go ahead and wrap it up, you know I'm gonna have to leave y'all with a what track from that boy? Uh, that boy, that boy Lasso man. He dropped a new project. Uh, it's available on Spotify and Apple Music. Um, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Again, like I said, be on the lookout for some future episodes because, ooh, Electronium, they did something that kind of hurt my heart a little bit. So I'm a little disappointed on that feature that they just all of a sudden decided to take away but they did add something new um ubdi even during this time there's still opportunities to make money off of surveys and stuff like that uh there's a couple exchanges that i want to really dive into especially bid offer man um that's really my it's my gold mine that's that's my main exchange where I, at least right now that has the biggest trading account i did find some other uh trading robot exchanges um one called mudrex and there's this other exchange i found called quantity i gotta figure it out figure that all out figure it and see if i can get that going and i'm trying to get going on some other exchanges besides you know like the typical binance bitrex like i really want to try to expand to like kucoin um Maybe Bitforex, because uh, I know with some of these exchanges, if you're a US citizen, it's really tough. But options trading, p- perpetual trading, you know, some of these trading funnels are been some spaces that I've got myself involved in. And I'm just like, wow, you can always expand your, <laughs> your knowledge when it comes to trading, man. And, uh, that's what I'm really trying to do. That's what I'm doing, I should say. And it's really been, it's really been helping, man. Uh, gotta keep it, gotta keep it real with y'all. My money is constantly working. That's that's a fact. So we're gonna end on that note. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy the cast. I uh, hope you guys are subscribing to the podcast if you guys are enjoying it. Again, I'm gonna try to get. A whole lot more episodes out. I know I keep saying that. I gotta keep saying. I gotta stop saying it. Just do it. Stop making these excuses. But your boy, man, 
Boys been working, grinding. Some long, some long work weeks, but that might be changing, especially with this move to Vegas. Things are looking on the up, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave on that note. And uh, until next time, y'all, be easy.